Hey everybody, Ed the Old Tech Guy here. My thoughts and prayers are with everybody here that, that watches my channel, and even if you don't, they're with you. I wanted to mention a few things before the video starts. You're going to see me accept some laptops from the outside or go pick up some laptops. Please know that I have various forms of protection. I use gloves, sanitizers, eye protection, masks, and I also weigh the risk versus the reward. It's not just about money, guys. Some of these laptops are the only gateway to the world for some people to communicate with their families and they're also the only way some businesses that have been designated by our local governments as must operate businesses, it's the only way their employees can work. So I weigh those risks before I accept the job. I didn't show it in my video, I apologize, which is why I'm making this quick intro. The next thing I wanted to mention is the whole point of these next video series that I'm coming up with is to show you how to supplement your income. You should have more than one way to feed your family. Your stocks and bonds are diverse. Why shouldn't your income be? I was laid off once and guys, I learned a, a heavy lesson. I learned that I better know how to do multiple things because my, my career or my job can become impacted. So I went ahead and started working on computers. I started working on construction, repairing cars, doing all kinds of stuff. And I developed a bunch of skills. I made those my hobbies and I, and, and I went ahead and started making money because I started selling myself with those skills. That's what this video series is going to do is teach that. It's going to take a little bit of time to develop it. But so stay tuned and please know that Ed, the old tech guy is trying to help during these hard times. All right, everybody, let's get that video started. Hey, everybody, it's Ed, the old tech guy. Today, I have a pretty cool video for you guys. I want to go ahead and make a public service announcement to everybody out there. Right now, there's people that are out of work and they need, they need to find a way to make some side hustle money. And you know that on my channel, we've been talking about side hustle money for a little bit because we talk about tools, tech, DIY, and sometimes comics. Why? Because you can use all those things to make some side money. Today, you could see all these computers on one of my work tables and I am just inundated with it. Now, why? Because I've diversified my skills. Now, while I'm a network engineer for one of the largest cloud computing and network companies out there, I also have done consulting for IT. So people know that I know how to fix computers, computer hardware, and all that kind of stuff. So there, I've, I've made a name for myself, I've sold myself, and, and people know that I do this for side money. Right now, I'm not getting any side jobs in fixing any cars or fixing any small engines because it's still kind of winter, springtime, you know, here and in, in the Midwest. So nobody's really thinking about, hey, tune up my lawnmower or anything like that. What they are thinking about is I need access to the outside world and my computer's not working. Please, somebody come fix it. So I weathered the, 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 the horrible see thing out there um and and went and picked up some of these laptops some of them were dropped dropped off to me and i'm going to show you today how quickly you can turn some of this into quick cash now this computer right here this one somebody brought to me as soon as i told them the amount of it was going to cost to repair it because it needs a hard drive the ram isn't working i did a i did a ram test on it and it's simply a little USB with the software that you plug in there. We will make a video on it, I promise, on how to test the RAM on a laptop and desktop. We, I tested the RAM, RAM's failing, hard drive's on the fritz. He said, you know what, Ed, you can keep it. Free laptop, guys, little bit of loving, and this thing's gonna come to life. So I'm gonna put this on the side now. Here we have a laptop the customer reported would not turn on, just won't, just won't operate so i went ahead plugged it in and left it plugged in for 48 hours now that, that that may seem a bit extreme to some people i do it so that i know in my head we've given this laptop enough time to charge the cells 
in case the cells are starting to fail, at least get charge on one cell or something, or see if something else is going on. Leave it plugged in for 24 to 48 hours. You're not doing anything with it. Give it a try. So I went ahead, did that. Now, the next thing that I always do is I go ahead and remove the bat. I unplug it, of course, and then I go ahead and remove the battery. Okay. Next, I go right here and I start hitting the power button. Now I'm hitting the power button because I want the capacitors to drain the power that they've saved up in there. So I want to go ahead and just make sure that I drain them by hitting the power button, giving it some action. And that works on some PCs, it doesn't in others. It's just one of my troubleshooting options. Now with the battery out, I plug it in and I hit the power. And guys, please, please. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I was going to ask you guys to cross your fingers or something, but look at that. It's turning on by itself. So we know that the issue is the battery. And I promise you that this thing wouldn't be here if it didn't turn on. And I didn't set this up for the video, guys. I really did this. So um, I, I, I got to go ahead and order a new battery for the customer, which I found out that the Duracell one costs about 60 bucks. 60 bucks for the battery. That's probably the problem. It's booting up fine. I'll take it through some extra testing with the new battery, make sure that it's working right. And there you go. Quick hundred bucks for labor plus the battery. The customer's going to be ecstatic because they thought they were going to have to invest another thousand dollars in a, in a brand new unit. Now this unit's probably not worth that much. They probably could spend 300 on a new, new unit, but still to get your data back and everything for them, it's a big deal instead of having to pay somebody to, or somebody like me, to pull their data out and go through that and still walk out with no laptop. Customer's gonna be really happy. Now this one right here, guys, this is, a, this is a business PC. This is an enterprise level Dell. I love these things. These things are awesome. This is a, a it's got an i7 processor in it. And this is like top of the line new, you know, Dell enterprise stuff. I love this guy. Um, it is a precision, it's a precision 3540, guys. This is a beautiful laptop. So what's wrong with it? It's got a virus. Um, I've got a couple ways to fix it. I can remove the virus and leave the data intact, which I usually charge a little more money for, or I can go ahead and delete everything and ensure that the virus has been wiped out. And here you go, 150 bucks. Uh, easy, easy 150 bucks because I'll do it while I'm, I'm catching up on Tiger King or some other crazy show that, that, that the family's really into. And there's, there you go, quick, easy money. All right, guys, this one right here. This is my buddy Andy's laptop. And uh, the second part of this video is going to be concentrating on this guy because as we open this laptop, it's a beautiful laptop. It's an HP Envy. It's got this beautiful chocolate color or copper color and it, it, it was an expensive unit. The problem is that my buddy dropped it. And I don't know if you guys can tell here, but it's got a wave here. It's got a crack right down on the screen and you really can't do nothing with it because you can't see when it boots up. You can't type, you can't do anything. I checked it out and the processor, the processor, the motherboard, the RAM, all that stuff is great. And, and I mean, look at this, it even has a wobble. I mean, let me move you back a little bit. Look at that, it has a wobble when you move it back. Look at that. <laughs> he, he must have put his knee on it or something. Um, wow, that's funny. Anyways, the internals of the computer are working. I, 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 stuck, a, I stuck a monitor on it and, and, and it's working great. So what I'm gonna do is maybe make a part two of this video and show where the customer Andy and I have agreed to turn this into a media center PC because it's nice and flat. It's got a battery, so it has battery backup at that point. It can slip behind this TV, under his TV in a shelf or something like that and set up and, and get a nice controller. And we'll make it a media center PC. All right, guys, this video is going a little longer than what I wanted it to be, but the point here that I wanted to make for you 
is please diversify your skills, become extremely dynamic, go out there, learn new things. Right now, don't sit at home, eat popcorn and watch TV. Learn a new skill you can make cash with. You need a side hustle, especially, especially if your job can become impacted by a pandemic, a fire, or anything else. That's the best advice anybody can give you. All right, guys, let's go to the next video. Please stay tuned to my channel. We're going to work on this guy. This is Ed, the old tech guy, signing off.